Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can set up and use scenes in your classrooms using GoGuardian Teacher. Now at its most basic understanding, scenes let you create a set of rules for a classroom session, letting you automatically open tabs, restrict web usage, and create customizable filters for different sessions. So it allows you to either lock down or open up the web browsing activity as much as you choose to do so. So let's jump into this. Now, once you're inside of GoGuardian Teacher, there's two ways that you can access scenes. Under the menu option, you can choose scenes, as well as click scenes in the top right hand corner. And you can see that I have a couple scenes already set up here, but let's go ahead and create a new scene. So I'm going to click add scene in the top right corner. And then let's go through some of these settings that you have here. Now, in most cases, you'll probably set up a scene to restrict access during something like a quiz or an exam. So let's go ahead and call this exam scene. And as a description, use for Schoology tests. Now, by default, all scenes will start in allow mode, but we can go ahead and toggle this switch to block mode. And you can see that in block mode, all websites will be blocked except for those specified below. And I do have a couple quick list options that GoGuardian does give me. So I can go ahead and add, let's say I want to lock everything down except Schoology and maybe I use Kahoot. I definitely want them to access Google Docs and let's say that's it. Now that means that any student within a session that I allow this exam scene to be used in will only have access during that session to Schoology, Kahoot, and Google Docs. Or if I wanted to add another website, base URLs will be added below and allow the entire website. Now at the bottom of the window, if I chose to auto open tabs once the session had started, maybe I wanted them to go to revis.schoology.com, that tab will immediately open as soon as the session begins. And I can also choose a maximum number of tabs that I want the student to have open. So if I know that they're only gonna be working in Schoology and Google Docs, I might give them only two tabs to have open, Schoology and Google Docs. And this looks pretty good right now, so let's go ahead and save this scene. And you'll see that my exam scene has now been created. So let's jump back over into our classrooms and head over into Hogwarts. I'm going to start a session for, let's say, 30 minutes. And I'm going to apply my exam scene to begin. Now, inside of my session, you can see I do have a device that is connected. Harry Potter has not opened up the web browser yet. But you can see that my scene status is now set to exam scene. So let's go ahead and have the student open up a tab and we can see that on startup the student was forced to revis.schoology.com to sign in go ahead and sign this student in now and you can see that harry potter is now in fact only on schoology but what happens if let's say he wants to go to youtube so you can see that because youtube is currently blocked it does give the student a notification saying that the website cannot be reached so we'll go ahead and we'll close that tab now we did give them access to google docs so we'll type docs.google.com on the student's device. And when the page loads, we can see that the student does in fact have access to Google Docs. So it does look like our scene is currently working and it's probably gonna be the most effective when you are issuing quizzes and tests. But let's say you wanna keep them in the class session, but end the scene. I'm gonna come up to scene status in the top right hand corner, choose change scene, select none. You can see that the scene status has been removed. If we click back into Harry Potter's device, and the student opens a new tab and goes to cnn.com, we can see that Harry Potter does now in fact have access to any website in the Chrome browser. So I'm gonna go ahead and quickly end this session. So what's great about scenes is that you can use them across any classroom. Scenes are not specific to the class that you use. So if you wanna set up a scene for a YouTube block where everything is allowed except for YouTube, you can save that scene, go into all classrooms, Choose the class that you would like to start a new session. Come down to this apply a scene, choose YouTube block and start the session. Now, one last thing to be aware of with scenes is that GoGuardian currently does not have a way to remove scene. As of right now, it is on their product roadmap to push out an update to remove scenes. Just to make you aware, you currently cannot delete scenes. And that's a quick look at how you can set up and start using scenes in GoGuardian Teacher.